and I am playing Christopher Walken today, so I am like 97 years old. I should have practiced a Christopher Walken impersonation <laughs> for this, but I, I do not do one. Oh, no, you know, not I mean, at all. Like you, you do the, um, what's the Warren Buffett. Do you have a Christopher well, Walken under your belt? Uh, probably, I don't think I, can I do one? I don't know, I have to give it don't, a try. Yeah, don't, if you don't got it, don't do it. Yeah, you don't force it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna win, uh, this race. Uh. <laughs> you do have it. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> you made me laugh so hard I just drove right into the wall. <laughs> uh, don't forget to claim uh, your <laughs> copy yeah. tokens. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Around the Corn presented by the Knights Guild. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe because we love the likes and subscriptions here at Around the Corn. They make our day. If you want to hear us speculate wildly on something in-game, throw your questions in the comments and next episode we'll pretend to know the answer. Follow us in the Knights Guild on X. You can learn a ton about the Knights Guild on Discord and the Guild website. All the links you need are in the description. I'm your host, Faux Hubris. As always, I'm joined by Konyakopius' favorite baby reindeer, Eddie Z. Eddie, <laughs> how are you still being stalked by that lawyer, huh? You have, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do no, you? No, not at all. <laughs> okay. There's a, there's a Netflix show taking the world by storm called Baby Reindeer. So, oh. <laughs> and so I'm giving that's that's who you are this week, baby reindeer. I love I love catching you off guard. You never know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna, and easy. Here we are. I don't know why we're looking behind us right now. Like yeah, why are we? We're, we're, sometimes <laughs> you can't really control your body, uh, can you? Yeah, like, like just, there's something really interesting back there. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, but I wonder if um, someone was mentioned in the um, Kopi Cafe. One of the questions this week was um, if they're gonna switch to uh, UE. 5.4 because there's like some really good i guess avatar um things you can do in there like so like avatar movements and stuff maybe that's going to get worked out so you're not like tilting your body all around like a lunatic when you're when oh. you're looking everywhere oh i didn't even know about 5.4 i want to yeah i guess re that's re coming they said it. that they're gonna they said that they're gonna try to do it um i get i guess the way they say they do it they do it is they um they kind of just like throw their. Uh, <laughs> they, oh my god, the music is so loud. Uh, even my volume turned up. They just they kind of throw it up in the um, on a different server to see what breaks and see how fast it is to fix it. So that's what they're, I guess they're gonna do. Yeah, let's see if we can. We got Bobzilla here with us. Okay, let's see. Let's um, let's go. Let's chat with Bob real quick. Yeah. We are gonna do yellow look at his avatar yeah. Oh, yeah let's check his let's check him out what's he i mean he's got like uh he almost looks like oh my gosh he's like kind of shiny <laughs> i think it's i think it is the lighting because it's i think it's also like on yours as well oh is it, is it the oh yeah the lighting here is yeah. kind of weird yeah yeah, yeah. Huh, look at that when you yeah when you when you tilt down in the shadow and then you tilt up and you almost look kind of plastic I have a feeling that when Solace, Esperanza, and Fortune are all complete, and you know whatever bugs that are there are there, at that point, I would imagine that Cornucopius is going to transition to like really just fine tuning everything, improving the player experience at that point. Because like after after the three zones are complete and the land grab happens, like I think the only thing left to do after that is like the build out for domes. Probably, so I think that's when we're gonna see all the really good like user user um, options that are gonna make playing the game smoother. You know? Yeah. Why don't I agree with you? Sorry. Why don't we have other racers in here with us? I know. Where are they? What just happened? Wait. What? Oh, they, I didn't see them there. I never saw them there. Okay. okay. Well, here we all are. Uh, well, that <laughs> sorry, dude. I was just. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, no, I was with you. I was very too. <laughs> I was like, well, are we going to go in alone? I thought we were racing with two other people. We were racing with uh, Blockzilla and uh, Block of the, Block, Blocky of the Knights. Maybe, 
Maybe they just came in at exactly the last second. Probably. That was very strange. That was, that's what, that was my concern, look. I was like, why? Oh my god, how did I do this? What just happened there on the loop-de-loop, -loop? like... Did you guys collide? <laughs> Is that just... what happened? You caused the chain reaction of collisions? Did, did, did I, I mean, did a bunch of people, I think some people rear-ended me. <laughs> okay. Alright, man. This is not good. I think I might win this. I, I think you're gonna win everything. <laughs> but, uh, hats off to Racer while we're racing here, because Racer has been putting in some insane time, so shout out to Ray. Uh, I'll uh, probably put, I'll probably share my, the leaderboards on what I've been tracking for the F9Rs on the yellow track. Uh, but he just pulled up a 50 on the fir the fastest lap right now is at 53 seconds and what is it? Yeah, just make sure you just don't leave it up on your screen for half the podcast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like last time. Um, but yeah, great, great times for him and the full time. Uh, I'll have to post it. Uh, actually, I already read it. Updated it, posted it in the lap times chat. Oh no! Um, and this loop de loop is gets me so bad. Oh, it's so hard to control yourself. Yeah, don't you think? Doesn't it like slam to the ground if you're like boosting through? And then it bounces you into the yeah, into the yeah, wall. Yeah, you yeah. have no control. Oh my gosh! Definitely have to get better at like not hitting the brakes. Also, often. also, I didn't. My first lap didn't count. Like I'm on two. I'm on a two minute lap right now. Oh really? Are yeah. you that? Is it? Are you just saying that, or are you that slow? No, I'm true. I, it's, it's, it, I mean, I, 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 yeah, but it, it's a plug. I swear, it's a plug. Okay. I, I believe you. I, I. I don't feel like you believe me. I, believe. I don't believe me, and I know it's true. <laughs> now you're starting to second guessing yourself now. Yeah, I know. I, <laughs> did, I, did, I, did I? Did I not go? Was that the last race that I actually did a lap on? Or? Oh my god! It, 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 it didn't count that lap either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I, I think I, I think I laughed you twice, didn't I? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? I'm being punished. Like I think I'm being punished by cornucopius. <laughs> I really need to learn to use my brakes in this F9R. Yeah, uh, that, well, that's the thing. I'm trying not to use the brakes. Um, as that's that's I'm on the opposite end. I really need to uh, try yeah. and figure out how to look, break less. That was a I'm on my three minute first lap right now. Or maybe I'm maybe it's just not showing them my lap times. Maybe it will end when I finish it. I don't know. I'm just enjoying. It's just uh, showing my total time. It's not showing me laps. Seven's music right now. And we're on to lap four. <laughs> oh, that that was lap one, so that was three minutes thirty-one seconds. Damn! Seven Did everybody else finish? finish? I finished. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about anybody else. I didn't even see that anybody. I don't. I mean, up. I don't. I think everybody finished but me because I'm still on lap. I'm on lap two right now. <laughs> <laughs> My, oh, here, here comes somebody. There's Bobzilla. He just crossed the finish line. Unless that was his, uh... <laughs> I wish that's... I wish they... Well, it'll come, right? Again, I'm trying not to nitpick, right? It'll come, the whole, like, leaderboards and, like, live. Uh, yeah, there's still people moving. I still see someone moving on my, um... My racing, like, uh, meter. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Today, uh, I, uh, J, JPEG store had put a post out, uh, saying something like, uh, what NFTs do you have, you know, should you, should people be buying? Or, or, or like, are undervalued, I think is what it said in the post for JPEG. What did it say? It said what was undervalued? It was like, well, no, it was saying what, it was asking the community, like, for engagement, like, what oh. NFTs are undervalued? And I put a post up, and I actually replied to that. Um, let me see if I can find it. I mean, right now they're all. Every, I would imagine everything is probably undervalued. Oh, 100%. There's a lot out there, dude. 
log. Let's take a look at the JPEG store while we're loading up on the screen here. Let's see. I I definitely know that I am uh I'm not buying as many NFTs as I as I used to because JPEG store is no longer like a a, a in your fast history, link in your on, my, on my Google. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like faded out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I've been I've been buying NFTs. I've been uh I've been really into the Yummy Universe uh NFTs with the Naru's. Uh it's a it's a play it's a Yummy oh my universe god, hundred and nine Kopi or Ada for a, a, a small I mean sorry to interrupt you. I just yeah. couldn't believe it was hundred and nine Kopi right now for a small common. Yeah, no, I've been looking at them, dude. 140? Yeah, yeah, that's 140, 40. And actually, one of them just got bought, uh, I'm pretty sure, because there was three of them there. Yeah, uh, that one's gone. Let's look at, uh, I usually like the buy I've... rares. The rares are better. Let me see what the rares are at. I'm 220? Actually... Oh my god, I paid like 300 for my rares. I actually, oh. I actually am looking for an epic, um, which the prices have actually already gone up. I'm still a bit re re reckless with that. Vehicle. Have the mythics come down? Is two thousand fifty for a small mythic is pretty is pretty low, right? Oh, I, I'm not really keeping track of mythics though, so I'm not too familiar. Uh, you can probably if you go into the you can just filter it and actually look at it. And if you filter it and then go to uh, analytics, or activity star. Yeah. No, I'm looking at the mythic right now. There's a mythic small for two thousand fifty. Yeah. So like if you go. Mythic. Then go to activity. I'm gonna see if we can't do another F9R yellow. Is that is that goose? Oh, we got more people here. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do this. All right. Look. All right. All right. It's so funny. Everyone walks up to the kiosk at the same time. It's like we're all like actually are loading up together. We're doing it again, right? Same yeah. yellow F9R. All right. And we'll do we'll do blue track next time. With this many people in here, we should just keep the racing going. Yeah. Because we don't get to we don't get to race like uh, this yeah, very yeah. often. Yeah. I always I always miss the racing parties because I my, I got other stuff going on when they're happening. Okay, all right. Let's see how everybody does here, and make sure. Well, I think the one thing we should be doing also, and and maybe you're not uh, don't like it, but I would put the names up so people can see. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got there. So I think, but I, but I think the Smithic Small for 2058 is actually like lower than i've seen it in a while oh uh, because like there's one for 2050 and then the rest of them are uh 2500 well like well again you have to go based on sale history though that's the thing so like i mean the sale history shows that in the past two months we're looking at four i've seen offer accepted 1450 uh 1650 uh oh, the, the, being 17. accepted yeah, sales. Yeah. This is a month ago. Seventeen hundred sale, eighteen seventy sale, twenty three ninety nine sale. So like, they, you can get it lower. Is what I'm saying. Right. I I, I wouldn't pay. I mean, nine. It's so. It's, it's right now. It says it's nine hundred and twenty one USD, and I do think that's the lowest I've seen it listed in USD since I've ever looked at at this. Mm, okay. And USD. I think it's always oh, yeah. been over a thousand dollars USD. Okay. I see, I see what you're saying. In terms but, of the USD, right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice I to have like, Ada, so. to to have like what like that one mythic land plot, you know, so you can get like the pristine land somewhere that's like I, beautiful and by the water, you know. It's hard to. It's hard. I mean, I I get that. I can kind of understand what you're saying. I I, I also do believe that it's still it's still worth getting the uncommons just because it's. Yeah. That's where our eyes are. If you're, if you're are. buying bulk, I think the uncommons are where you like. If, you, if you're going for like a lot of, because then you can spread it around. But I already have like 40 land plots, and I don't have any mythics. So like, I, I if I'm gonna buy another land plot, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a mythic. Yeah. When the thing is like, it's I don't, I also feel that not all of these, uh, plots are gonna be like, like. Uh, actually redeemed i think they're going to be out there to be, to be sold as well still i don't think you know unless they want to lock us in unless they want to lock it into something then it you know then it's depending on the location where it's where if it has value you know so it just depends i it's going to be very interesting how the market kind of fluctuates and and how people decide when to buy and what to buy and i'm off the track on location it is not my day for racing for sure <laughs> But yeah, I, th I think it's gonna be it's gonna be varied. I don't I don't think it's gonna be 
I, I even looked at comments just because of the fact that I think that I'll not, I'm, not everybody's going to, you know, go ahead and redeem a location and use it. Because at the same time, you know, these are also meant for the other two zones, right? So it depends on how, you know, which zones, how, what zones are people are more going to be, you know, getting uh, these land plots in, you know, for, I guess. What yeah. Because, right. like, what if, like, only, I don't know, like... 40% of the people go for Solace uh, or like you know, of the population go for Solace or the NFTs go for are redeeming the Solace and then like 40% are redeemed on uh, Fortuna or Fortune sorry oh. it's going to be really interesting to see how it, it breaks out right like how it breaks down right and that's then I guess that's what that's the thing too because it's not a, I don't expect it to all to everybody redeem their land pots right away I think they're just going to yeah. we're going to sit honestly I really do but it, what's, what's going to be so unless something that I, I've been thinking about with the land plots is that there there is some percentage of land plots that are going to never be redeemed, right? Like people aren't people are just not paying. Like some people who bought them and and just aren't paying attention anymore, you know. And um, and th that means that like whatever percentage that is. You are, if you have a, oh my god, I crashed in the same spot again. It's now I'm falling off the track. But uh, if you, uh, what was I saying? Oh, if you, okay. <laughs> someone just rear ended me and I blew up. <laughs> oh, what? I, I just now? I, I went right past somebody. Yeah, okay. But so that, and so if you like, that, like, let's say you have like a bunch of rares. And like some like ten percent of the legendaries and ten percent of the mythics don't claim a land plot, that's gonna boost the value of your of your rares because now you're gonna have that like earlier access to like land plots. Right. I mean, because and that was one of what I was kind of sort of saying in my post on my on Twitter. Like, I was basically saying that the most undervalued NFTs are vehicle the the land plots, the domes, and the vehicles, just because. It's just the fact that you can go ahead and earn, like, to be, a, like, I think my whole, I think, what did I say in that post? It was just the fact that, actually, now, now I really want to read it, because it's like, what the hell did I say? Uh, in that JPEG post. Oh. oh my god, I got through the deep deep loop about that. Uh, you actually did it? Hey, yeah. see, improvement, man, that's what that matters. I don't know what's happening. Every time I go through this spot on the track, yeah. I'm like I didn't even hit the wall that time, and I yeah. went off the track. <laughs> so, the have, game is have, to get me. You have the gift, man. Yeah, so here it is. I, I wrote down and I said, Cornucope, this is land plots, domes, and vehicles. Instead of playing a game on UE5, I'm part of it. Be the owner of a retail spot in uh, in an RPG game or RPG. Host your own uh, events in domes. Compete in races with your own vehicle and get paid in Kopi, which is a, which is, a, an agnostic token. So it's just I don't know. I just feel like there's so much more to it. It's and that's why it's very hard to describe what this game is, right? It's not. I can't just go up to the up somebody and be like, oh, it's a first person or it's an RPG or it's it's practically everything, right? It's just like you just immerse yourself in in. I look at all these times. I no, let's not look at the times. Let's pretend the times aren't there at all. Oh, a minute. Well, oof, you got some. I kept falling off the track, Eddie. I kept falling <laughs> off the track. All right, I can't. You, I can't. Do you not watch me a racer like race? Like, do you not get any like? I can't get under a minute if I fall off the track, Eddie. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man, racer. I uh, think you, you get on your boy here because yeah, I think he needs a tutor. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I wish I had a little. I, like honestly, if I had Ada. In my wallet right now, instead of Kopi, mm -hmm. I would put an um, I would put in a bid at this mythic land plot for like sixteen fifty. See if they counter with like I mean I should probably put it in like fifteen hundred and see yeah. if they counter with like sixteen fifty or seventeen hundred. Yeah, I've been eyeing these like large like uh, uh, what am I saying? Uh, epic sizes. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I just been, I and I've also been looking at smalls too. Like I kind of want like a bunch of smalls, and I've been thinking about getting some small like, un, uh, just commons and uncommons if I can. 
There are so many times this week where I've sat with the sweep button. <laughs> just I just click the sweep button. I'm like I have like six smalls highlighted. I'm like, uh, not yet. I mean, hold on. Gonna dance with Katy Perry real quick. Uh, nice. Oh, Katy Perry's in here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Sup? When I say sup, Katy. <laughs> sup, Katy. Kiss any girls lately? <laughs> this is a PG uh, 13. Kiss, it's okay. Just a kiss. Just a kiss. Just a kiss. <laughs> 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 he said twice today. <laughs> <laughs> my man. Uh, yeah, my, my man. <laughs> Loading now. All right, all right. Both nine are red. Yeah, and I appreciate. I don't know if Bobzilla is around anymore, but thanks for the races, Bobzilla. Yeah, Bob. And, uh, and Blocky. Block. Yeah, Blocky. I don't see them here anymore. But okay, let's load in. Yeah, because they're probably just embarrassed at how bad I am, and they're just like, ah, what's the point of racing like, this? Yeah, thing? that's no point. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing red, red right? We're doing... Yeah, okay. red F9R. All right, all right. Sounds good. <laughs> kind of nice racing with the community around here. Yeah. Just, uh, I was like, let's just, let's just race all podcast. Let's yeah, just man. race. I just want to race. Yeah, exactly. It's, and I'll I come up with a... A fun movie to make fun of for the um, thumbnail. I don't know what, what, what other racing well, movies are there. Hello, actually, uh, well, Fast and the Furious is probably one. Uh, but oh, they, yeah. you know, they recently updated their um, their roadmap. Even though we talked about it last week. Oh really? There's, there's yeah. a change. What do you see? What's yeah. the difference? So let me go. Back is, it, is, it a, is it something moving up or moving down? Uh, so let's see. So if it says right now the release release four public testing says then. Uh, Kalito Valley Racing Track leaderboards is coming. Public testing. So that's coming in Q2. So that's, so like right now... Actually, let me back up. So it says release three facelifts. Right, so we did that. Cardano, Copic, SPO launch. That's which is what they just launched, right? In terms of like the SPO, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it says release four, but it, does, it just says pu public testing. I'm not sure. I'm, you know, maybe it's just... What? So, do you think the the, the, this last build was delayed because the you know like a couple weeks right from when they wanted it? Do you think the next build is going to come a month after the release date, or are they are they going to be back on track? Like we we could get another build in a couple weeks. Well, right? they're, they're pumping out a lot of stuff this month because again, like yeah. they're, they're, so they're doing the release for so they're, they're doing Kalito Valley Racetrack leaderboards. They're doing the. Uh, Kalito Valley Hollow Cash leaderboards. So they're doing that as well. The public testing, Avatar <laughs> Creator update, uh, presets, beards, outfits, and others are also coming out. Then it's release five, the public event consensus on in on in August. So they so it looks like they probably pushed back the F9R. I'm assuming. Yeah, the F9R. Keep, no, keep. Can you keep reading that? Um, then, that uh, roadmap for me? Alpha. Oh yeah. Wait. <laughs> I have to. Yeah, like, can you go through that one more time, real quick? You, and you, just, you like... had a head start. That's not fair. What? What? You guys are cheating. I just, for no good reason, just ran straight into the wall because I was checking my boost. I keep checking your boost. Well, I have my water in front of my screen, so I can't. Oh, I rear-ended you. Me? I, I rear-ended someone and blew up. Oh no! It must have been uh, Goose, right? Yeah, he was he was stuck yeah, at that. At that. It was Katy Perry. Katy Perry, yeah. <laughs> Katy Perry whooped me. I I do think I would lose in a fight to Katy Perry in real life. <laughs> like, I mean, she probably works out quite a bit. I mean, I just, you know, it's, is it I do tall? Not. Is she tall? Okay. I I, I don't know, I but she does look mighty, right? Like, she comes across as someone who's mighty. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, okay. Uh, and I am playing Christopher Walken today, so I am like 97 years old. I should have practiced a Christopher Walken impersonation <laughs> for this, but I, I do not do one. Oh, no, no, not I at mean, all. Like, you, you do the, um, what's the Warren Buffett? Do you have a Christopher Whoa. Walken under your belt? Uh,. Uh, probably, I don't think I... Can I do one? I don't know, I have to give it don't, a try. Yeah, don't, if you don't got it, don't do it. Yeah, you don't force <laughs> it. 
Uh, I'm gonna win uh, this race. Uh, <laughs> you do have it. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying. <laughs> you made me laugh so hard I just <laughs> drove it into the wall. <laughs> uh, don't forget to claim uh, your <laughs> copia yeah. tokens. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Eddie Z, man, uh, you have a talent. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's see. All right, it's Goose. Where's Goose? I don't, oh, he's... Okay. I see him in the lines behind it. I have a pretty decent lead up right now. This this track is definitely the hardest for sure. I do, I just don't know how to do the F9R. I, I'm much better than the T3 on this, but, like... Oh, uh, can't make that turn. I can't do that for a perfect. Oh my god. That turn is so hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's very difficult. I uh, recently saw, uh, not recently, probably like a few weeks ago, was uh, The Wedding Crasher. And oh, I, that's god. why He's it's so. so great in that. That's yeah. why it's, uh, it's, still, it's in my head. Like his. That accent kind of is in there. Yeah. That is one of the better comedies of the last 20 years, I would say. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, my God. I'm not doing so bad in this one. Am I catching up to somebody? Or are they just stuck? Oh, I'm doing all right. I'm 43. <gasps> and, I've, of course, I say that and I hit the wall. <laughs> Never look at your watch. Never look at your clock. Yeah, I know. That's the that's the thing that's like <laughs> while you while you have to practice a lot with these is because you need to be able to you need to be able to be so good at it, like you can you can glance down. Like right now I'm out of practice. I can't glance down at my speedometer. I can't check my boost. You just gotta trust the vehicle. Trust we'll do the its force. Job. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, happy May the 4th, by the way. We, we, I mean, belated. Yeah. Oh, you, Cinco de Mayo. And happy Cinco de Mayo, right? Uh, yeah. Did you do any, you doing any celebration in the Eddie household? No, no, no. We're, we're uh, Salvadoran here. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think you were like Mexican. I didn't think that. No. Uh, I figured you are South American somewhere. Somewhere no, south I mean, I mean, yeah, we celebrated in our little way, but... Uh, Nothing like that. Nothing really also with it either with uh, when it comes up. Well, no. I, did I watch anything Star No. Never didn't watch anything Star Wars, unfortunately. I should, though. Well. I'm waiting for the Mandalorian movie. That'd be nice. Are they making a movie? Yeah, they're making a movie. Mm -hmm. At least Because uh, uh, they were going to do a show, and I think they're like, no. Nah, the show, I mean, I saw the last season of the show. Mm-hmm. Oh, I might pass. I might pass him. Oh my god, I hit him. Oh yeah. I shouldn't have tried to pass him in this tight corridor. Uh, I got one health now. I ruined my time there. Dang it. All right, I just I just uh, crossed the finish line. I mean, I I was about to pass Goose and then I rear-ended him. <laughs> but I didn't blow up that time. I'm down to one health, so. It's like seems like that's a pattern with you, huh? We're rending people. It's not. It's not a great pattern. <laughs> and so back to what I was reading, right? Uh, yeah, go ahead. The... Take your time. You got a couple minutes. <laughs> uh, it says the release five is public testing. Uh, public event consensus, Austin, Texas, uh, 29th to 31st. Then we got Calido Valley yellow and red track updates. Oh, they're gonna make. Tra uh, okay, so after, so in. June, that's when we're going to get updates to the, to the racing. Did, so they're saying they're going to track updates? What, what does that mean? Is that Do you think that means like... I would assume that they're going to, you know, tweak some things, change some physics here and there, you know. I think they're going to yeah. focus in, in certain things. Maybe, but who knows, maybe the side-by-side -side, uh, issue that we've all been wondering about. Um, yeah. You know, uh, in terms of the visuals. Um, let's see. After that it says pre-alpha racing tournaments. Oh, that's kind of nice. Uh, Kalito Valley, new purple racetrack. Hey. 
There we go. Wait, did you say purple racetrack? What yeah. about the blue track? Yeah, that says purple. Purple racetrack after the racing tournaments, the free alpha racing tournaments. Oh, look at those times. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I think Goose has shown his true feathers because uh, he has not been working the red track at all. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> it's it's not my favorite. That's why I don't really race it as often. Uh, the fastest lap right now for uh, the red track is right now. Oh, it's actually in my Excel sheet, actually. Did you see anything in the in the uh, roadmap about the um, F nine R Mint? Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Oh, well, oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that I actually was getting to that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the, sorry. The first, the fastest time in red track right now is one minute thirty seven seconds and tenth of a second, and the fastest time is four minutes fifty seven seconds and point ninety. Point ninety five. Uh, anyways, so the, then yeah, so after the new really, the purple uh, racetrack, it's the flying vehicle F nine R on the base chain. So wow, that's kind of cool. So that's kind of cool, right? So they're going to release the racetrack first, and then the F nine R, which is probably designed specifically for the F nine R. Okay. And, and when, when, I'm sorry, I was talking to Goose. When did you when did you say that was coming? It's Q2. I mean, it's still all Q2, Yo. so it's going to be before June. Uh, at the either, probably at the, I would say probably mid. If I were to estimate, I would say mid June. Here, let me let me go beat you in um, Rumble that, Ball at least, that, and we can. Uh... Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't we haven't done a Rumble Ball in a while. That's true. I actually, you know what? I probably would say maybe even maybe late June. Just because I bet you they'd have the racetrack to be released probably mid June. Yeah. Yeah. The Q two ends is, is like July first is the start of Q three, I think. Correct, right? yeah. correct, correct, yeah. Alright, here we go. I wonder right. how this backpack is gonna hinder me. Alright, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're carrying a little bit of extra weight there. I mean, they all, what about like? Uh, I mean, they they built these Rumble Ball arenas, right? And we, they haven't talked about them much. I do wonder if there's going to be leaderboards for this, like tur tournaments for this yeah. teams, like when they because they they said they're going to work on this with like better mechanics and things like that. So yeah, I mean, this is just this was a concept, right? And and if it if people like it, then yeah, they're going to go ahead and continue. Uh, working towards it and I, I i like the fact that at least in general like even if they don't continue on this particular thing the visuals of this looks really cool and the fact that they're working on physics in terms of the ball yeah and making things improve like in, to improve it i like the fact that it's like a nice little boxed up area like kind of like indoor soccer kind of feel yeah with a twist in terms of angling the walls i mean again it's just different things from it's like a combination of racquetball and soccer yeah, yeah. I think actually, that's a good probably way to put it. Oh, whoa. where did it go? <gasps> oh! oh no! Oh no! Nez. Oh shit! Shoot! I mean, shoot! Oh no! Why? How am I self sabotaging myself right now? Well, I mean, you can't be good at everything all the time. I, I, I mean, you got you got your Warren Buffett impersonation. I, I strive for perfection. Oh no! Oh, I'll never, I'll, I'll never forget when you did the, when you randomly. Oh yeah, I just tried to score that myself. <laughs> when you randomly whipped out that Warren Buffett impersonation, I was like, and it sounded just like him. I was like, just blown away. <laughs> and then you do the Christopher Walken, it, oh, Eddie. <laughs> oh man, no, Christopher like, Walken's awesome. I, I, he's he's like he's, he's an icon. <laughs> yeah. I am a fan of the movie uh, Man on Fire, Ooh. but he doesn't have a big role in it. I, j I just for the so I I'm I've been trying to go back and watch like a bunch of movies that I I watched a long time ago and like and keep track of all the movies that I watch. And one that I recently rewatched was Deer Hunter. <laughs> Sorry, I, just, a, I missed that thing. It was wide open for me. I thought you were laughing at Deer Hunter. I'm like, no. oh, it's not a comedy. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah, not that's a, comedy. a good one. <laughs> no, I completely whiffed in an open goal and just like sent it to the far right. It was funny. 
Oh, what is going on? Why am I passing the ball to me? I have I'm waiting up. for him to kick it down to me so I can oh, no. do that. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Let's see if we can't end it a 1 1 tie like a real soccer game. <laughs> oh. Damn it. Oh. That was a nice long distance oh, shot. It's 3 to 1. Did I score 2? I scored on myself one time. Oh, oh, okay. Well, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I know I did. I scored on myself as well, so. Yeah, it wouldn't be a game of Rumble Ball if, we, if someone didn't score on themselves. Hey! What? Hey! <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. We got I'm two more minutes of this embarrassment. That was wild. Oh, whoa. I got this. I need to do some tricks here. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Dangerous. No, get out of here. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that's a center. Oh, oh no. It, I can't even find oh. the ball. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Foe Hebrus is confused. Yeah, I should, like, should I try zooming out? I was like, yes, I like, should try zooming like out. Pokemon. Oh, you were zoomed in the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he yeah. hit the post. Eddie Z hits the post. It. Eddie Z with the cross. Eddie Z with the strike to the right <laughs> for some reason. Oh, oh, Hubris with the center against his own <laughs> goal. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, here we go. This is going in. I like this, uh, like random, like random. I don't know if you've noticed, but every time you go like a little bit to the like east side step, your leg extends like, like, uh, like a good like seven feet. <laughs> what really? Yeah, I don't know if you noticed that. Oh, when, you, when, you, when, you're, when you're stepping over the center yeah, thing. Yeah, no, yeah. No, whenever you're like moving around, like like move like around like this in a circle. Oh no, you tricked me. I was I was caught doing stuff. Yeah, uh, good job. Yeah, oh, show you, me you that again. Show you don't see that. that was it again? You don't see that like leg just like hang back like that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna take. Let me score this goal. Hold on real quick. <laughs> first, first let me score a goal first and then yeah sure go ahead go ahead Ooh. what are you waiting for <laughs> there we go here we go here we go here we go oh no i cleared it i was about to score <laughs> myself and i was like not gonna make that mistake again here we go here we go oh no no this isn't supposed to be happening it's happening, buddy. How much time you got left? Oh, it's going. Five seconds. Let's go. Oh my god, I gotta score two goals in five seconds. I got this. Oh man. Yeah. And it's over. <laughs> yes. Victor. Where's the fist pump? Right. Fist pump. Yes. I'll do a clap for you. <laughs> Very good. Very good, Eddie Z. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best I got. Christopher Walken. You're the best at the rumble ball. <laughs> <laughs> if that's how we you see, it. you gotta get the ball in the net. <laughs> wow. So let's I... let's talk real quick. Let's talk about the competition. Um, we've got we got some submissions for the Battle of Avatars, Avatars Bracket, Bracket of, of Destiny. Destiny. Bracket of Destiny. Bracket of Destiny. <laughs> and. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna try to get some more because I think maybe people are working on like um, their celebrity mm -hmm. and they don't want to they don't want to reset it to yeah, of course to, to the... do one of ours. So we're just we're just gonna keep it open for. I mean, there's no rush. We're just gonna keep open submissions um, okay. for indefinitely for now, so people can can do both competitions. Cool. Yeah. Um, and, I need to submit mine too. So yeah. Yeah. Like if you could save, yes. I mean, if you could save your your avatar, you probably wouldn't be a problem. But since you can't, like, I don't want people to feel like they have to, like, delete their. I mean, some people. I mean, did you see Beavis from Cornholio on uh, on Twitter? Oh no! Oh I'm my god! I, I he that. made he made the the best Beavis avatar oh, I've ever. I mean, like, it's smart incredible. idea, actually. Yeah. I need to consider some animated ones that I could probably. Pull, pull up. That's actually a smart idea. I never even considered that. I was just thinking about like actual people, you know, this whole time. But I mean, that would be funny, dude, doing a promo for for uh, Crow, and then him actually like noticing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can make some stuff up. Some some yeah. Some promos in game. 
<laughs> that's what we should, we should start ge- trying to generate revenue streams for us by doing like in podcast promos yeah, and then we'd have affiliate, yeah. affiliate links for <laughs> for each one <laughs> like if, if pro gets revenue out of this we get a cut yeah like like we want to crow our crow tokens <laughs> crow your coins crow your coins where, where, I'm not the one that we were at that one day. Yeah, there was another one that's massive. It's up, it's up there where we were climbing up on the roof up there. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We should go up. I, I, I go all the way up there. I don't know. No, we don't need to go all the way up there. I mean, I'll do it if it's gonna promote yeah. crow. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. But let's make the best crypto crow promo we what can. Are we, what are we gonna say? Crow your coins. Crow your coins. Crow your coins. Crow your coins. You got to grow your coins. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do that. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what we wanted to, what, what we're doing. <laughs> we're just like, well, all right, Eddie. Here we are doing a promo for no reason whatsoever. Uh, a crow. totally free promo. Yeah, uh, for because, Crypto Crow. Yeah, look how big this thing is. Yeah, well, here's the thing. I mean, Crypto Crow has got, like, what, 150,000 subscribers? And he, what he really needs is us with our, like, eight, 180 subscribers to uh, help him out with his channel. Uh, so course. we decided to come over here, and I am going to sing to you. You ready? What? You want to hear me sing? <laughs> go go right ahead. Crow your coins, crow your coins, crow your coins, crow your coins. <laughs> Crow your coins, you gotta crow your coins. Crow your coins, crow your coins. Crow your coins, gotta crow your coins. Crow your coins, crow your coins. Yeah. I think he's lost some subscribers. I think he's just. We're gonna get like a cease and desist letter. I think I just saw his number. I think he's at 99,000 now. Oh, no. I I mean, it's just too bad because I I love Crypto Crow. Uh, I don't want to do him any harm. No, uh, actually, happened. I don't know that I would know about Cornucopius if it wasn't for... I mean, I, I, I probably would have figured it out. I would have learned it, but, um, yeah. you know, he's the one who... I, I wanted to invest in a in a gaming project, and he sold me pretty easily on Cornucopius. So yeah, and to all the millions of people that watch us, go ahead and give give come on, give Crypto yeah, Crow a follow. Yeah, go follow um, Crypto Crow. Let's make sure, if, and for no other reason, for the conspiracy theories and the yeah, and the uh, you know, and just let him know we sent you. So just let him yeah, know. just let it, just let him know. We got a crow. Wait, do you want to do you want to? Do um, Christopher Walken telling people to go subscribe to yeah. Crypto Crow? Yeah, yeah. Check check Crypto Crow out. Uh, grow your coins. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you were doing Larry David, and then it, and then you brought it home to, <laughs> to Christopher Walken. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I grew. And the crow's nest is coming soon. The cornucopias. That's gonna. Be what do you think the crow's nest is? Like, I mean, I know. Like, okay, so I assume it's like kind of. Yeah, a- he has the the social media thing, right? Which yeah. is, but it's not. I mean, it's so crow's nest is something different from that. It's not called crow's nest. Well, I think um, I think it's. I mean, I would assume, and this is just a big assumption, that you know it's similar to how they have the Kopi Cafe in the pavilion, and, and maybe they could have an actual v like a you know virtual Kopi Cafe at one one time, like kind of how what we're similarly doing right now. It's just you use you know creating these free promos for Dega and Crypto Crow. I mean, it's a similar <laughs> similar thing, right? It's just the fact that maybe yeah. he'll have his own v- like virtual version in here and actually have an actual, you know, Crow's Nest studio, right? Similar thing. Who do you but, think did this artwork for him? Do you think, was this like, would they, they just take a picture of him? I would know. I, you know, I I would assume it's the same illustrator who did his uh, NFT uh, yeah. art as well because it's kind of, has that similar vibe to it in my opinion i yeah. mean except for the neon right but the it looks really cool and that job well done uh with the with it with how it looks how it turned out yeah he he talks a lot about um uh like it's almost like a kind of like a a card game uh, like a, like a, i think it's kind of like the way i understood it it's like a version of a type of like magic the gathering kind of game where he bought he wants to build it um you know he's been building that online or building it in web3 so he i mean 
and that's probably the kind of thing that he could do like matches here in cornucopius right like when he has his dome and do whatever he wants there so that's going to be kind of cool to see what he does right i agree uh got a crow i would point. be i would be interested in in participating in whatever events he's got going on yeah i do own do you own any crow nfts i do not i have shopped around a little bit uh i haven't yeah. pulled the trigger um I, i've been kind of uh, I don't, you might still be able to mint them. I, I bought them directly from the mint. Oh, really? So, They're still minting? For, for, yeah, I think. I mean, I don't. I know. I know oh. there was a limit to it eventually, but uh, I um, I just did. I bought like I don't. I think I did like a batch of five oh. or something. And, oh, okay. I mean, my because I heard I heard him say that there's gonna be you you might at some point need a crow token to get a cornucopius NFT, right? Like it might be a gate. Uh, gatekeeping to you to be able to uh get one of those okay so i'm i'm then yeah you, you sold me on getting one so i i've yeah. been holding off but yeah i think i might same reason why like you want to own the cheeky racer suit is that somewhere along the line there may be specific no. mints oh you yeah. missed that jump yeah i'm gonna make it oh <laughs> <laughs> i look and I, I like this right here this is a nice little backdrop for like selfies Oh, I never saw this is a good black drop. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, that way you have like you can just sit back here, turn around and be like, hey, and then do your little like, hero pose and then zoom in. And you can have like a post you like a post you can have like a post uh a passport photo taken like just do your Superman pose. Yeah. Of course I'm a little too close now. There you go. Yeah. Like that. Super Superman. Oh, the pup. There you go. Yeah. All right, Eddie, we're going to do the segment that's sweeping America and all the world, digital and otherwise, Web 3, Web 2, all the worlds. Uh, we're going to do a Kopi Wiki deep dive. All right, Eddie, today we're looking at our, at our deep dive. We're looking at the character needs system. So you can go ahead and just look for... Uh, Holocaches while we go through this because you know that's probably what you're going to do anyways yeah but i'm dropping I'll read, I'll read a little bit and we'll talk about it and then we'll keep moving on so um the character needs system even in the metaverse players have needs character needs system is a term that encapsulates a multitude of requirements the player has to fulfill in order to manage or optimize their character's physical abilities. Huh. So that, that's going to be, if you're going to, you know, be out there hunting, fishing, you can't be on an empty stomach, you need to be hydrated, you need to get that, um, what is that, that habanero heartburn, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think that's kind of cool. I mean, I, I would have, I mean, it depends on how, well, so much, in depth they go into it right it could get tedious if it's too if it's too much right well i'm curious if, if there's like you know it will how will things evolve when it comes down to it like is it how how and how often do you have to keep it up you know like in terms of like it will do you if you start if you let's say you fish for so long and um, this is just an example let's say if you're fishing forever and you you're guilt you're getting those skills up in terms of fishing and that, let's say you stop doing it for a while. Well, do you lose that skill? Like, do you start progress, re regressing in terms of like, yo, know, you, because you haven't you haven't fished in a while? Does should your skill go down? I'm kind of curious. Would, about that, you know, it probably should if if they're going for realism. That your like not it it can't atrophy down to zero. But I I would think that it that it yeah right maybe, right you can lose twenty five percent if you don't do it in, in uh, like for two weeks if you don't do any fishing yeah you could lose well i mean maybe not, but maybe maybe it like, should be longer than that like if you don't fish for like six months like yeah. you've been you've been it just means that unactive or something like let's say you get to level 99 in terms of fishing and then like you haven't you haven't fished in six months maybe maybe you don't go down below 80 level yeah. right like you don't you know you stick your you stay at 80 and then you have to like if you want to get better at fishing again to get to get it to 99 or 100 level then 
you might as well you gotta fish again you know so yeah. I've, I've, once you pass a certain threshold it shouldn't go below that right so and, and maybe you get you can get it back even easier because like you have yeah you, you, though your skills have atrophied you do have like a kind of muscle memory to it so that you can like maybe you can get back those those 20 points and half the time it took you to get them before you're right I mean, yeah, and, and I was, this is all speculation, right? We're not part of the team. We're just basically saying all oh, what we're just, we Yeah, what we're just we making want, stuff right? up. We're just <laughs> making things up. We're interpreting interpreting something that we read on the uh, week of, uh, Kopi Wiki. So, yeah, um, but it's just it's interesting. Or that, or what if like like your physique? Like I know I think like uh, what was it? Grand Theft Auto had something similar to that in one of the Grand Theft Autos, where you had to work out your character in order to maintain him maintain his fitness. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and and it actually changed his appearance, if I'm not mistaken, by making him more uh, muscular. If you, you know, decided to do like body weights, uh, yeah. I'm curious if that's the case too. Like, it doesn't. It probably won't. But I mean, that's just an example of how how I interpret that particular part of the Kopi Wiki. Can you imagine if there's like the the Kalito Valley gym, and you gotta go, you gotta go there to like pump some iron yeah. <laughs> for like I guess five. And what, Five minutes of bears and, and yeah, what and who knows what if that helps you, you know, mine a little bit faster just because you're able to do that, right? Just because maybe you're able to pick up, maybe you're able to pick up more stuff, uh, yeah. uh because you're able to do that, right? Like uh, maybe ten percent more weight that you can actually pick up for te temporarily, you know. know. So it's interesting because it, it'll have to be like perfectly balanced because like what you don't want to have happen is that. The time and energy it takes you to cons like procure the food and to do all that, it has to it has to allow you like to get more like mine more over over that that period of time than you would have been able to if had you not gotten the energy right. Otherwise, otherwise, what's the point? Just like if it's just like a ten percent reduction in mining, just let your energy go down to zero and then just get ten percent less ore. And, and not spend two hours getting all the food, right? Right, right. Exactly. So it's got to be balanced pretty well. All right, here's what's next. Um, physical abilities include endurance and running speed, so, weapon yeah. aim, focus and control, and the ability to hold breath underwater. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I, I like that. I mean, I, I the fact that yeah, I think it goes back to what we were kind of sort of just talking about in terms of, like, if, you know, if you're doing it, you're gonna get, you know, better at it. Obviously, yeah. it just makes sense. So like maybe there's like a underwater cavern or something, and it's you and you can only get to where you want to like where the air pocket is is if you have full lung capacity right otherwise, otherwise you're gonna die underwater so like maybe it's something like that mm -hmm. yeah like the, i mean there are no i mean if we're talking about i know cornucop has caves but I, i'm pretty sure there are you know areas where caves get flooded right and you might have to go yeah. underneath and swim through It'd be interesting. right to get the best stuff too mm -hmm. i mean because mm -hmm. we know mining is going to be really difficult like it's not going to be just as simple as walking up to ore and chucking your pickaxe at it like it's gonna be you know there's gonna be things that can kill you you can fall to your you have to like walk and navigate like a really tight area you so you're gonna want to have the best balance you can you want to be able to jump like maybe you can't you can't jump as far as you would is unless you have like full energy right mm -hmm. so it's gonna be really important i would think to be able to you know maybe just to get to where you can mine stuff Right. That's going to be really interesting. It will be. The, the player must fulfill nutritional requirements. This entails a resource consumption system where the character must eat food items and stay hydrated in order to maintain or enhance sustenance. Some food and drink items will be more nutritious than others, which in turn creates a hierarchy of value amongst food items. This in-game function will create great demand for crops and livestock, effectively powering the entire farming industry. So it sounds like all of farming is going to be based on this, you know, consumption that you're gonna you're gonna need to be making. I mean, t and that's how life is. Like, I mean, you know, so if you ever been to like an agriculture town, 
um, like here in Florida, like you go to like central Florida and sometimes it's just like farm after farm after farm of growing random vegetables. And you, I mean, you need it. You need it to feed all the people. So it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It's going to be very interesting how they, how things affect certain skills or, you know, endurance or, you know, your energy levels. Um, it's, you know, so much more. I feel like the, all this, I just, so many more questions uh, come, you know. So ho- ho- I just can't wait till they get really more in depth. Oh, they. Oh no, I already got that one. Damn it. I mean, I think it's going to be a lot when it comes out with like solace, right? When you're when you're starting to really see the the kind of land that's best for farming, the land that's um, not so good for farming, right? Like I would I would think like really aesthetically pleasing land is probably not going to be the best for farming because you would if it's like if it's a beautiful piece of land you know farming isn't gonna be enhanced by it but if it's like a nice flat land like I wonder if there's gonna be like a rating for like soil you know how how good's the soil how fertile is it um, all that kind of stuff it's gonna be really interesting mm-hmm. I shouldn't even think about the soil. <laughs> Right, maybe, 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 because there's gonna be like a fer- uh, like you maybe you're gonna need fertilizer, and there's gonna be like you know chemical Qualities. plants and stuff, right? Where you're, you're making fertilizer to grow your crop crops. That makes sense. Um, almost certainly. I mean, that's gonna be pretty cool. I mean, so then then there, I wonder if there's gonna be like you know NFTs for like tractors and things like that too, like or or maybe robots that help do farming for you and kind of automate it a little bit. I went back to this this one puzzle area. I'm st- I'm stuck in an area I can't get out of. I don't know. I don't know why I'm stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continuing. Sleeping is essential requirement the player must fulfill. This in-game function will recharge. So do you think you're going to have to just shut the game off to sleep or do you think you can just go somewhere and be like sleep and then it's like okay, you slept for an hour. Like you're going uh, I don't know. I don't know how that would work because if it's real time, yeah, uh, you can't just fast forward time for you like yeah, they do. How do you, yeah, you can't just fast forward everybody else's time, you know? Yeah. So that's it. so. Is Corny Cope is building in a reason for you to stop playing the game? Like, I'm like, oh, I need to sleep. My aim is awful. My my driving is awful. So I need. To, I've been playing for ten hours straight. I need to sleep. My character. Weather conditions will affect. A character's physical abilities. I think that's the wrong effect, but I don't know. Um, it's gonna affect. Uh, wait, it's gonna affect her what? The weather conditions will affect a character's physical abilities. For instance, additional water will be required to stay hydrated in sectors with a hotter climate. In addition, players are required to wear clothing to match their environment. For example, a winter coat when traveling around landscapes in cold sectors. This in-game function will create demand for a variety of clothing items and help fuel the fashion industry. Mm, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, I can kind of get back get behind that i mean it's similar to how uh games i mean games like you know legend of zelda and how uh, certain i mean uh, multiple different rpg games use uh weather uh as a Mm -hmm. as an aspect like thing for like the make clothing uh a utility oh man i just dropped i mean that was a big part of red dead redemption like if you were in the wrong clothing in the summertime and you're just in and you your guy would just get exhausted Mm -hmm. um yeah, and you in the winter, and, vice versa, you freeze to death. So. Yeah, and again, and to the point of, hey, you know, you can actually, you can actually build an economy out of that too. So like, it, it makes it so that people will want to know how to make clothes, uh, better jackets and, you know, shorts. You know, if you're at the beach or you know, like. Or, so do you, yeah. do you think clothes should wear wear down over time? Like, huh. um, if you. If you buy, like, let's say you buy, like, an NFT sweater and you wear it every day for the entire winter, <laughs> should over time, like, or, or maybe it it, 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 become, it keeps you, like, less warm, but, like, after a while, you need to take it to a seamstress or something to, like, kind of fix to, it up a little bit. To maintain it. Yeah. That's an interesting 
Oh, wow. Uh, that's an interesting idea, because then that would give lights to an, uh, like a, fu a future, you know, crafting station. I mean, like, exactly. a, like, like a tailor. And, like you, and someone who ca has decided to create their land plot to become a more of a, a, a tailor crafting station, if, if you will, then yeah. they would be the only ones who can specialize in, in refurbishing mm -hmm. people's stuff that you would keep someone. So yeah, you could, I would, that'd be interesting. Cause I mean, it, it's kind of, it's kind of similar to what the movie uh, ready player one has where the, in the beginning of the movie where they were doing that race and she crashes her motorcycle. And next thing you know, you have uh, someone who just, who specializes in fixing motorcycles or bikes or vehicles? Yeah. And it took like ten minutes for that particular in the in the scene. There's like mm -hmm. it's like oh I'll, I can fix it to you for you in ten minutes, and he did. And he's like there you go. Um, I, I yeah I think I'm sorry go ahead buddy. No no yeah that's it. I was gonna, I was gonna say I th I think anything you can do to be closer to the vision of Ready Player One, except for like where you die you lose everything. You're right. The better this game will be. Yeah. Like I think you know. I mean, because it does seem like the, like the ultimate end game, like like is at some point as VR becomes more like a better technology, is to transition this into like a, a actual VR experience. Mm -hmm. And so, it, if you know, the more the more you can do to get it closer to Ready Player One until VR technology becomes what we all want it to be, then I think that's just smart business yeah and honestly i think I, I remember seeing somebody in within the discord community had already had a, a, somehow worked out the vr system you know with cornucopias with with what we're splitting now uh i thought it was i, I could have sworn i saw that and i'll have to like do research on that again but i, re I remember somebody posting like how it looked and how it, how kind of cool it looked uh of them I mean, walking around could it, Colito valley could could being I mean could transitioning right uh, this game to VR right, be re VR ready? Could it not? Could it be like not a big oh, yeah. challenge? I don't think like, I would. I would think it would be like a, hu a huge undertaking. But maybe it's not. Maybe it's uh, like mm -mm, I don't think so at all. I think it's. I think it's. I. Th I want to. I would even believe that it's already available. Like, and 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 as long as you know what you're doing, you can kind of make it happen. Uh, I really That's do crazy. Think that, yeah, I do believe though. Yeah. I've never I've never used a VR headset. Like I, I keep waiting for the technology to get better because I, I don't I don't want to get I don't want to just get it use it for like a couple months and then be disappointed. I want to just be I want my VR headset to be so good I just get home from work I plop it on and then I it, and then like I fall asleep and then I wake up with it on. Like I just I want to just live my <laughs> life with the VR headset on and be um, that'd be a happier life for me. <laughs> that'd be so funny actually because everybody would just just kind of like adapt to you just putting having those on consistently yeah right Can you, <laughs> like it's gonna make conversations with your like loved ones like really awful because like they're not gonna know if you're looking at them or whatever they got to they got to put the vr headset on so they can come talk to you characters who engage in strenuous physical activity will find a greater need for these systems as their nutrition will be depleted at a much faster rate some places to acquire food and drink include growing food on farms, fruit and or vegetables, purchasing food at market stalls or other types of merchants, purchase food, drink from vending machines, forging the natural landscape to pick fruit and vegetables to cook. We've already seen some of that in the Taste of Solace, some of those mushrooms. Mm -hmm. um, hunt, capture and cook wild game reward of food for completing in-game tasks and activities and trade food items with other players so that is the breakdown of where you're going to get food what, what do you think of on that list is going to be the like the most valuable food hmm. I, I don't know i think they're all going to have a pretty good balance i i have i feel like that's just how intricate it's going to be where there's a balance in terms of how certain things affect certain things um but i think like i would assume protein i would assume protein is going to be the big thing i also think energy drinks are going to help like certain uh, like you know clearly they have like the the moonshot um, yeah it's giving you like a boost for like a quick like little task that you need right exactly yeah. so um i, feel I, like I think the hunting everything. stuff is probably going to be like especially like more rare animals are going to give you like a really good um, you know, 
boost to your your stats mm. clearly fish right because clearly we're going to be doing yeah. fishing i mean that's going to be coming up our way which is going to be really cool i can't wait until we start doing that as well it's something so small but yet you want to make that one if you can make that work right then it's just the way that the rest is going to go right it's going to be brilliant as well it's going to be i mean because there's going to be like people there's going to be really rare fish in really small watering holes and I mean, I'm sure it won't take long for people to like kind of post online where um, the best fishing is. But also, I mean, I think that means that the fishing needs to change, like from season to season. Like the best right. watering yeah. hole, it can't because like if it's the same watering hole every season, then you know you're 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 just gonna have this all these people trying to fish that same area to catch that same rare fish. So. I think that's going to be, you know, yeah, I, I definitely think there's going to be some kind of fish that give you like an amazing boost or an amazing buff or something. I'm for also, sure. I'm also curious now as you, we talk about this, will there be stuff such as like that re that kind of has the reverse effect on people in terms of like getting sick and causing you to be be dehydrated and uh, and you know, for a limited amount of time, because maybe you you maybe got a really a bad fish. You know, I don't know. Oh yeah, that would be interesting. Like you get fruit, like fruit. Maybe like one out of a thousand fish can give you food poisoning. Yeah. Or maybe if you didn't cook it long enough or something. Like yeah, you, yeah, that too. Right. Exactly. Um, uh, or, or drinking bad water. You know, like you can. Yeah. Seems, you know, like you can put hat. You can drink polluted water. You know, you, you desperately do that. I could definitely see an energy drink doing that. Like it, it, the energy drink gives you the boost, but the after effect is is you it like makes you super tired and dehydrated. And you so like if you're like, oh, I'm running from this bear, let me down this energy drink real quick. Okay, I got away from the bear, but now I need to go sleep. What do you think is going to be the thing that really brings people into play? And and not just play the, like the like to see the new stuff, but to like spend hours playing, right? Like, is it going to be, is it is it just going to be the release of Solace, or do you think people aren't going to like really commit hours of playtime until like they can farm and build up their land? Like, is the whole game going to have to be released? I think before that happens. No, I think it's well, I think it's going to be what you just said. It was all the building. Uh, it's because that's going to be the more time-consuming thing. It's, it's. I feel like that's if anybody wants to be top tier in terms of the craft or crafting stations, it's going to be the people who put in the time and the work to chop all the wood, you know, the, who plant all the crops down and and are preparing for the future. Because that's because that's the thing about this cool. That's what's cool about the whole land plots, in my opinion, is the land plots are going to be are so undervalued right now. It's insane to me just because. Imagine you're in you're in a, a game like Elder Elder Scroll, and you're out there in the world, and you're buying all these items from an NP, an NPC essentially, right? You're buying items, you're buying you know, healing elixirs and weapons and, and all that stuff. Well, instead, you the people right now who are watching this video and people who are in the Discord right now for Cornucopius and have assets in Cornucopius, they're the ones who are actually basically. They're not just playing the game, they are the game because they are the ones you're going to be actually communicating with, talking to, and bargaining with in terms of what items you can get. Uh, whether, hey, you want to get that medicine? Well, guess what? You got to go talk to, you know, Ray. Ray is the only one who, who, uh, who has the best elixirs right now for what you got, you know? Or if, yeah. if you want to go to Four Hubris's, uh, you know, laser gun shop, you want to go over there because, you know, if you want to compete in the multiplayer matches, you know, you might need that gun. I don't know. I'm just saying, like, if it just seems like the the people who have uh, all these assets right now are gonna be helping essentially make the game. Yeah, without the landowners building and crafting and making things, it's gonna be like there's gonna be shortages on everything. Right. Exactly. And it also it's gonna also build the economy among different zones too because. As I mentioned before, is one resource that's going to be scarce in you know from Solace to Fortuna, and so like you're going to be you're going to want to be strategic on how things on how you do that and spread out. Oh shoot! Just hit the wall there. 
I like how you like asked me in a very elaborate question. <laughs> I mean, I, I've already blown up twice. Oh, come on, loop de loop, don't do that to me. It's like I started. I was like, man, I was thinking way too much while racing. I got a terrible first lap. I got a minute first lap. It's all oh, good. poor you. And it's all because of you. Oh no! I started panicking at the end here. See, this is how we should end the podcast with Seven's soft, calming music at the end here. <laughs> I almost feel bad. It's like ro royalty free music. Did I get under a minute at least on the last lap? Come on. Come on. Give it to me. Hey, Woo! there you go. Look at you, man. Yeah. Uh, 57.98. Hey. Yeah. I did it. I'm a, I'm a real bad. I'm gonna have to put that in our leaderboards. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> That's not even close on the leaderboard. I don't think. Is seven? What is? What was it? Fifty-seven? What? Fifty-seven? Fifty-eight? Fifty-eight. Hey, you beat Rob the Fox. Oh God. And Corny G. You said fifty-seven. Was it? I'll, I'll I'll double check and then when I'm when I see the video, but I think it was fifty-seven, fifty-eight. 58 okay yeah yeah you got the you, get, you beat uh rub okay i am i'm gonna put in some hours practicing with the f9r so that i am under 55 at least oh hubris oh wait actually that was your fastest time you beat your fastest time your fastest time before was 57 59 <laughs> that's so bad Hey, I didn't realize <laughs> I had a hundredth of a second. Yeah, I didn't. I just realized I had you on the list here. Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna put in some hours. I'm gonna get some work done on that. Hey, but you you did it here on the podcast. You just broke your record. Yeah, look at me go. <laughs> Eddie, you got any final thoughts for the episode? Uh, no, just always just claim your tokens. Uh, claim your tokens yeah. Yeah. Crow your coins. Don't forget to crow your coins. Yeah, crow your coins. Make sure you check out uh, Crypto Crow for all the millions of people out there watching. He needs some. He needs some help, people. He needs some what help. was the Dega thing uh, that you're doing? Your... Uh, Dega, yeah, your what is it? Dang it, your. I said it so often. I should remember. I know, right? How do you know your remember? story? Your world. Yeah, your story, your world, and and most importantly, don't forget everybody. Battle of Avatars, Avatars Bracket, Bracket of Destiny, Bracket of Destiny, Bracket of Destiny. Bracket of Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. guys. Yeah. So definitely check those things out. Um, thanks to everyone at the Knights Guild for letting us be a part of the community there. Thanks for letting us kind of fly your, your banner when we do our podcast. It means a lot to us to be there with all of you guys. It's awesome. The Guild is great. Make sure you check them out. Follow them on X. Make sure you check us out on X. Follow us on X. If you need information about the uh, competition, there's a link in the description. Also, if you follow us on X, I post regular um, tweets about the competition making sure you get the link uh, making sure you know how to how to enter and all that stuff so definitely do that thanks to everyone at cornucopius rob josh david all of them you know scrappy uh uh scrappy scruffy josh everybody um doing all the hard work matt we appreciate it it's, you know it's awesome seeing your hard work pay off are we doing it we can do a little dance here i was trying to do a dance why am i not dancing there we go i was trying to punch, no, that's I was trying to punch you <laughs> that's fair punch me i deserve it um finally everyone please subscribe to around the corn youtube channel we want to keep growing we want to keep getting better um we want to keep doing this content as the game grows we'll be doing more fun stuff we'll be doing some lives and we'll be doing all kinds of stuff uh when when there's more to do in the game we'll be doing it here and hopefully you'll be doing it with us so definitely stay tuned subscribe and we will see you all next week for episode 12 this is been episode 11 thanks guys i'm trying to do a promotion for dega i'm doing a commercial <laughs> dega wait wait hold on hold on <laughs> wait where are you hold on hold on 
Dega. Wait, hold on. Dega. Your world. Oh, damn it, I said it wrong. <laughs> okay, hold on. Dega. Wait, no, no. Too, he pointed too soon. Hold on. Okay. Dega. Your. Damn it, he danced instead. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Dega. Your story, your world. Yeah, there you go. That hit. Dega. Your story, your world. Yes. So, Dega. Your, your story, your world. Exactly. Dega. <laughs> Dega. Your story, your world. Damn it. Because <laughs> he's pointing. Dega. Your story, your world. Where are you? Are you pointing to the world? Is that why you're? you're yeah, pointing. I'm pointing, pointing to myself. Uh, yes. So like, uh, Dega. Uh, your story. Oh, damn it. Dega. Damn it. Damn it. Can't security bot just walk? Just ruin the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Come on this now. Is, this Jesus. is the dumbest. We're the, filming the, here. In eleven episodes, this is the dumbest thing we've done. <laughs> <laughs>